is uh, the biggest thing that you've learned this season going through this process in the draft here? Yeah, I think uh, you just got to enjoy it. I mean, um, you know, there's probably times where people think it's stressful and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I've had a couple teammates that went through it last year and they just said to kind of just enjoy the whole process. It's, uh, you know, it's a fun year of your life and uh, you only get to experience it once. So. And where, where have you seen the biggest growth in your game this year? What do you think you've improved on the most? I like, I like to think my playmaking ability. I think uh, that's one thing I wanted to focus on coming this year was, was uh, my playmaking ability. And um, obviously you keep working on my 200 foot game. I think that's... Um, a big part of my game, and um, I'm just trying to keep getting better every day. Brandon, what is it about this draft class? Obviously, it's known for being a new draft class. What's it like to be a part of one that's so deep, but you also kind of know like who's probably going to go number one? Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely pretty cool. Obviously, there's so many special talents in this draft class, and you know, getting the chance to you know play against a lot of them in uh, in the Western Western League, and then um, obviously this past summer getting to play with you know the majority of them at uh, the Hulk was was pretty special, and um, you know, it's just cool to go through all these experiences with them and um, obviously yeah Connor Verdari's unbelievable player so uh, yeah it's pretty special. I know you guys go way back and you did Power Edge Pro and that kind of thing with him in the summertime what's something that people maybe don't know about? Uh, I don't know he, he's uh, you know he doesn't really put too much out there he's he's a great person like um, you know he's he's confident but he's you know a great person away from the rink and um, you know he's somebody that I look up to he's uh, you know obviously the stuff he does on the ice is pretty incredible so to you know kind of just watch him it's pretty special. How'd you guys get to know each other? Yeah just kind of like you said there just through the Powerage Pro uh, camps and uh, kind of just throughout the, league, the years traveling to those uh, those camps and I'm um, just being with him on the ice and just uh, in the locker room is uh, kind of how I met him. And what have you seen out of him this year and what he's kind of handled all this pressure and, and how his game has changed? Yeah, I think obviously you, you know, look at a guy like that and uh, he's you know probably the best prospect since, I don't know, Crosby. So um, there's obviously a lot of pressure on him and um, he seems to be handling it really well. I mean, um, you know, you look at the stuff. He's doing every night. It's incredible. So, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think he's doing a pretty good job. What's it like to play against him? Well, I mean, you got to know where he is on the ice because you know he's he's super dangerous. But um, yeah, I think uh, you know, they got a pretty good team in Regina, and um, you know he's you know the biggest part of that group. So um, yeah, I just think knowing knowing where he's at all the times on the ice, and because you know he's going to make you look pretty silly if you don't. So who are the players that you've tried to model your game after? Who are the guys that you watch the closest in the NHL? Uh, I like to say Nathan McKinnon, just you know, he's so explosive in the way he skates and the way he shoots in stride, but um, maybe a little bit of Jonathan Taves or Patrice Bergeron with the kind of 200 foot style as well. I think um, kind of like I said before, it's a, it's a part that I try to work on every day. And um, yeah, I just think a couple of those guys are you know pretty good at what they do. With McKinnon, is that why you wear 29? Uh, yeah, so him and um, obviously he's my favorite player, but growing up in Prince Albert, uh, I got season tickets for the Raiders and dry settles there, so uh, that's another reason too, I guess. What did you see out of his game? Well, I mean, he's one of the best players in the world, and uh, I honestly like I watched all the games, and you know, I didn't know he was going to be the best, one of the best players in the world. So it's uh, it's pretty special. It's a big year for the Dub. I mean, a lot of guys. I mean, how much does that kind of help you with your competitive nature? I mean, seeing all these guys high on lists and different things. How much does that give you juice to, to go the extra mile? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Obviously, there's a ton of uh, big names in in the West, and um, you know, you see them. Um, you know, doing doing well every night, and you know, in their stats and stuff like that. But um, it's just cool to you know talk to them after you know weeks and um, you know see how they're doing and kind of just um, talk about the whole process with them. It's uh, it's pretty cool. Is there anybody that you've had a chance to meet here that you uh, that you didn't know previously? Uh, yeah, Nate Danielson actually. Uh, I played against him, but didn't really have the chance to uh, meet him in person before. But uh, he's a he's a pretty funny guy, and uh, he's he's cool. You're here representing Moose Jaw. Uh, you know, what has the club done to help your development and help you get to where you are right now? Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, I can't thank them enough. They've, you know, given me lots of opportunities starting in the bubble, and um, you know, they've given me lots of confidence. So I got to give a lot of credit to my teammates and um, obviously coaches. Um, I think you know they've been a big part of uh, my growth as a player and, and also as a person. Um, you know, especially my D zone. I think you know my coaches are pretty hard on me about you know, my 200 foot game. So uh, you know, I think that's uh, you know a big part. Uh, I got to give credit to them. What stands out to you about Well, first, obviously, he's opposite hand, but, uh, you know, he, he works so hard and, um, you know, even in practice and in games, um, obviously, he's our backup right now. we got a, uh, another Unger in starting, but, uh, you know, he works so hard and he's such a great person, too, so.